The choice was easy, actually. Working in a school, I was a librarian before I began working um, with, the, with the addictions field. Working with children at young adults who had concerns or issues, didn't have answers for, um, led me to pursue the, this career. Having a family history as well, um, where my father, brothers, um, and uncle had severe addictions, um, disorders, and there was nothing there for them. So when I started, it was 33 years ago actually, there were a few programs around. Um, we didn't really have mentors or persons who would assist us in, in pursuing a career, or even looking at this as an avocation. Uh, things have changed. There's just an opportunity for growth and development for young people to come into this field. It's a phenomenal opportunity to watch people whose lives change dramatically in front of your eyes. The metamorphosis of life is just wonderful to be a part of. Uh, it's, it's, it's just a wonderful, wonderful thing to have experienced over 33 years. A lot of what I did initially was volunteering. And I found after the first three or four months that I really, really wanted to become a part and remain a part of this field. Um, it just gives you such a wonderful, wonderful sense of belonging. It gives you a sense of, of giving and the receiving. For you see persons whose lives are changed dramatically by minimal effort. Very little effort has to be put into their lives in order for us to see the great growth in our lives. I, I think all of the clinicians, addictions professionals are, um, we have the lifeline. I, 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 I'm not sure that I call us lifesavers. I think the persons themselves save their lives. But we have the lifeline that allows them the opportunity to see that there's a life there to be saved and to give them the courage to do it.